I have all the sheets on now that uh, all the sheets that stop here at the top spar. And now I need to trim them off even. I want to trim them off right at the spar. And so to do that, I'm going to make a jig and use a router and trim them all in one shot. And it'll all be nice and perfectly in line. So I snapped the line and marked a few places down the wing, about every second rib, where I want to cut. So now in order to cut that on this fixture or jig I've made, it's a piece of particle board, three quarters, and this is the factory edge. I checked it to be true with a straight edge. And then I glued a piece of eighth inch hardboard on the bottom. I gin, then when I trim that hardboard off with the router, that makes this edge exactly where it's going to cut. So this whole thing will get clamped on the bottom of the wing with this edge right on those marks. And so when I run the router down, I'll get a nice cut right where this edge is. I will have to put something behind the sheet to hold it up so that I don't cut into the spars. And then I'll have to set the depth on the bit so that I'm not too deep. And I'm only going through the aluminum sheet and maybe a little into this piece below, but not into the, any of the wing components. Okay, so here's the setup. You can see back here is this eighth inch sacrificial piece behind the aluminum skin. And that'll keep me off the, the ribs. And here's the router with an eighth inch bit. So you can see it's going to go through about half of that sacrificial piece. I don't know how well the camera's catching this. And that allowed me to go through the single sheet, but also the double overlap where we have two 25,000 sheets and we need to go 50,000 steep. So one negative with this setup, normally when I would set up a guide like this, I would direct this edge the other way so that if you made a mistake and you went up, you would be into the scrap, not into the good piece. But because of gravity and everything, uh, it's not really practical in this case. so just have to be careful that I keep it on the lower guide and that's where it's going to want to stay anyhow. Now that came out pretty good. Look at a beautiful, nice cut where the two sheets come together will be perfect halfway into the wood back there I don't see any aluminum so no disaster now I just need to move the fixture down to the other end and uh, cut the other end off too let me pull this sacrificial piece out of here 